So I've been getting a lot of questions lately on how to uh, back up and write your own Sega Saturn backup. So I figured I'd go ahead and do that real quickly. So I've got my copy of, over here of Vampire Hunter, uh, one of my favorite 2D fighters. And uh, yeah, all we're going to do is take the disc out and go ahead and load it into um, my Asus uh, you know, CD drive, uh, CD writer, DVD writer. And uh, yeah, get it loaded into the computer. And now I'm going to go ahead and transfer you into the screen. Okay, so the software we're going to use to go ahead to both rip and write the uh, Saturn games is called Image Burn. So over here, I'm just uh, quickly did a Google search for Image Burn, clicked on the first result, went to the download page, and downloaded Image Burn. Uh, one thing to note is, I mean, I've already got a copy of it installed on my computer, so I'm going to skip the installation process, but it's pretty much as simple as you would think. All right, so I've launched Image Burn, and we're going to want to go ahead and click on Create Image File from Disk. What this will do is it will create an image of whatever is sitting in our DVD drive, which in this case just happens to be our Darkstalkers game. So let's go ahead and fast forward through this, and uh, once we get an image, we can go to the next, next step. Okay, now that we have the image ripped, it's time to go ahead and uh, burn the image. So to do that, we're going to click on the right file to disk, image file to disk. We're going to go ahead and find our image file that we just had created wherever you ended up saving it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select mine here and you're going to want to select the .q sheet. And then once you've done that there's a couple things you want to take a look at over here. Um, first of all I'm highlighting something over here it is the supported write speeds as well as the disk ma name and manufacturer, the, the almost the model number of the disk if you will. Um, set your disk to its slowest burn setting as you'll typically have the best result and you can see that I've highlighted the CMC Magnetics as the manufacturer as well as the uh, respective disk name. The reason why that's important is because no matter what your disk is actually branded, so for example this is a verbatim disk, but as you can see verbatim isn't the one who actually manufactured this disk. Certain disks will perform better than others and this is the specific disk that I tend to recommend as I tend to have a heck of a lot of success with it. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, cut here and uh, speed up the footage and uh, see what uh, see how this ends up going. Okay, now that the burn's done, it's time for my favorite part of the entire exercise: testing and playing uh, your backup. So uh, I just loaded in my game as per usual, and uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we've got some success over here. So I think uh, we're pretty much all set. Um, if it ends up not working for whatever reason, I would just recommend, um, you know, trying to burn another copy and or making sure that, you know, the image file that you created is uh, working correctly. Anyway, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.